Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. How a Coronation Street star is hoping to inspire confidence as she unveils latest move away from the cobbles. Coronation Street star Charlie Houston is hoping to inspire confidence within the young disabled community as she unveiled her latest move away from the cobbles. The actress, known for playing Izzy Armstrong in the ITV soap, has been leading a drama project for young people with disabilities in Manchester for several years. Back in 2016, Charlie, former Corey star Melissa Johns, and a group of like-minded artists launched Triple C, the Creative Confidence Collective, with the motto to never leave anyone behind at the Royal Exchange Theatre. Charlie, who has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome which affects joints and leaves sufferers in chronic pain, and the team launched Triple C so the next generation of budding actors don't meet blocks to the arts. And their next project, which will operate out of Manchester Arts Charity 532, has now been revealed. Triple C is launching a youth theatre and a new creative community project with the help of National Lottery funding. Speaking to the Manchester Evening News, Charlie, who has been awarded an MBE for her services to drama and to people with disabilities, explained, we wanted to set up a youth theater that is fully accessible to all disabilities and to all access requirements because it's such a strong thing that changes people's confidence. I used to work with disabled young people prior to Corey, and between acting jobs I used to go into schools a lot, and actually, one of our key founder members at Triple C was one of those disabled people who had never got out of her wheelchair before and was very shy, and now she's a model, a dancer. She was one of the first disabled women on the cover of Grazia magazine. She's dancing on a Facebook advert, been at London Fashion Week a few times, and all that came from doing drama. Drama massively changes people's confidence, so we were keen to set up our own youth theater. Charlie and the team have opened up the youth theater for two groups, those aged 8 to 11 and 12 to 16. They're currently offering up taster sessions throughout November, with plans to run the sessions regularly from January. It's about preparing people who want to go into the arts as a career or just really enjoy performing to have an accessible environment where they can do that, Cherry Lee said. There's something really empowering about disabled young people being in their own community, and our hope is that they then go and join other youth theaters, but remain in ours so that they got the best of both worlds. Our future aim is to then teach other youth theaters how to make their work accessible. It's also because drama can really influence people's confidence it can help them create their identity and believe in their full potential. We're reaching out to Deef, Disabled and Neurodivergent between the ages of 8 and 16 in Manchester. As for the Creative Community Project, it will take place weekly, also at 53.2, from October 27. It will be run by writer Kathy Crabb, who Charlie says is a Manchester arts veteran, and will also be joined by others who work with Triple C. We recognize anybody who feels isolated particularly those over 25 who fall off the system and people who might not be able to go out for work, Cherry Lee told us. We wanted to create an environment where people could go and be creative, build their confidence and be part of a community and see where that takes them. Drama and theater always seem to take people somewhere and cats go so many exciting things for this well. It's about building confidence together. Adding why it's important, Cherry Lee said. I do a lot of work within my disabled community, and you recognize that people do get socially isolated. Disabled hate crime has doubled in the last five years and cuts by the government mean basic services aren't the same anymore so people don't have the same opportunities to engage in society. So that's why we're really keen on setting this up so that people have those opportunities. Sometimes people don't see others for weeks at a time, and we want to set up something where people regularly see people and don't get socially isolated. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment and share.